In this video I will show you how to recreate an awesome thermal effect in After Effects in just a few minutes. My name is Dima from Studio Znak and let's get started. I got inspired by these creators and the way they shoot videos, it's absolutely amazing. Today we are going to recreate this thermal effect. First create an adjustment layer, add the invert effect and then add the tint effect and set the color to something light blue, like this. Next add the lumetri color effect, go to basic, correction and find input loot. For this tutorial I used two of our projects, Thermal Lots and Viewfinders Pro. You can check it out, the full collection through the link in the description. Select loot number 9, it doesn't look like the example yet, but we will fix that with a few more steps. Add the Curves effect and place it above the Lumetri color effect. Adjust the curves to look something like this. Your curve might look different depending on your clip. Next, add the add grain effect. Set viewing mode to final output. Intensity to 1.6 and size to 0.8. Now add the fastbox blur effect. Set radius to 1 and iterations to 1. Trim your adjustment lower and duplicate it to use in another part of your clip. Add a frame over the adjustment lower, trim it and do the same for the second part of the clip. On the frame add the deep glow effect, set exposure to 0.6 and radius to 50. Copy and paste the effect onto the second frame. Now add two different crosshairs to your clip and play them in both parts of the video. Position one crosshair roughly on the face, turn off the effects to avoid freezes and start animating every second frame to keep it fixed on the face. Do the same for the second crosshair but position it elsewhere. Turn the effects back on and add the deep glow effect to each crosshair. Set radius to 200 and exposure to 0.8. Copy the effect and uh, paste it to the second crosshair. Next create a new adjustment layer and add the posterize time effect. Set the frame rate to 18 and repeat this for the second part of your clip. Remember to animate every second frame and turn off heavy effects while working to avoid slowing down your computer. Finally create another adjustment layer and add the exposure effect. Set exposure to 6 at the center, move 3 frames left and set it to 0, move 3 frames right and set it to 0 again. Copy the deep glow effect from the crosshairs and add it to another crosshair for a final touch. And there you have it, a cool thermal effect created in just a few minutes. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment about which effect we should create next. Your support really motivates us to make more useful content for you. You can also find high quality and very cool projects on our website. See you next time.